there. Welcome to my channel. Um, my name's Jesse. I'm a local Melbourne photographer. Um, this video is going to be a top five, sort of my top five creative locations around Melbourne. Um, the first two are sort of going to be locations you can go to during the day. Um, and then the last couple will be more predominantly night locations. You'll have nice lights and all that sort of thing. Alrighty, so for the first location, we're here at RMIT University. Um, this here is the RMIT Design Building, which is kind of like quite a, a well-known location for a lot of photographers in Melbourne. Um, you've got these amazing circles all over the whole wall. The campus itself is quite a large campus, so there's a lot of really, really cool locations around if you just explore around the whole campus. Um, Alrighty, we're now at the second location. Um, it's on Latrobe Street, 50 Latrobe Street, I believe is the address. Um, but it's this really cool little tunnel where you've got like all of these wooden sort of beams and then a couple of them have these little orange lights on them. Um, it's really good for sort of doing like your wide shots and your portraits and that sort of thing. I have found the lighting to be a little bit difficult just because you do kind of have only the one color. Um, but generally just as a location, it's really, really cool. So I wanted to kind of include this one. Okay, for this third location, we're at this kind of like pillar sort of light location. So we've got all these like beams. Um, they both run on the floor and on the walls, which look really, really cool. And are great, great for like portraits, wide shots, all of that sort of thing. Um, they definitely are best for taking photos of at nighttime, but just in general, really cool location. Um, this one is located on 290 Timothy Lane, is what it shows up as when I put it into Google Maps. They're located right out the front of like an apartment building called Boco, it appears to be cool, um, but yeah, really cool spot. And I haven't actually taken any photos that I've like really loved at this location, but I'm hoping to soon. So yeah. Four. Okay, this location here is one of my favorite portrait locations just in all of Melbourne. I've taken some of my favorite photos of models here and just the, the portrait shots just come out amazing. Um, this one is located in front of the Holiday Inn Express in Melbourne. South Bank is the location. It's in kind of like a little, little car park sort of drive through area. One thing to take into account is that very occasionally I have seen these lights off, so I can't guarantee that they're going to be on every time. Um, but generally speaking, if you come back like a couple days later, they're generally back on. This is definitely like at the top of my list of photos to photo locations to recommend. Alrighty, so for the final location. Here yeah, have these kind of like blue hexagonal sort of lights. Um, they're actually on like the side of a car park, but I thought that this was a really cool location to show. It's not one that a lot of people know the location of, which is why I kind of wanted to show you guys this location. Um, the location for this one is Howard Lane, and it's just down on like the left-hand side of like the, the main road that this sort of road comes off of. But yeah, that's kind of the final location. Just want to show you that one. And boom. Wanted to do a quick honourable mention of a location that's located in Melbourne Central. It's the entrance to a winery called Black Hearts. It's a location that I really, really like. However, I don't feel like there's a huge variety in terms of what sort of content you can get there. It's kind of just like a portrait straight down the entrance and that's kind of all you got. But one of my, another one of my favourite locations in Melbourne. So just wanted to mention that one. And with that, that's the end of my video. That's kind of my top five creative locations located around like the Melbourne CBD sort of area. Um, hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop a subscribe because it's a new channel and it's, it's quite hard to grow. So 
that would be very much appreciated and yeah i'll i'll see you in the next video i was gonna say if you liked it i should do it i might do a